Hi, 1st of March 2021. I've received more video clips from Brad. This time it covers the jig for restoring the rear section and middle section of the fuselage. At the moment, the rear section of the fuselage is fitted into it. This will be removed and fitted back onto the Lancaster before the April, before the taxi season starts. Work on restoring these two items will start in November of this year. And thanks to Jerb and John for helping Brad make this video. Lincolnshire Aviation Heritage Centre put out a new video. It was taken, I believe, by a drone inside the hangar, starting with the rear fuselage fitted in the new jig, flying over the Mosquito and on to the Lancaster. A link for this video is in the description below. Just click on it and it will take you straight to it. So this is Brad's video and once again thanks to Brad, John and Jer. Thanks for watching. What are you doing here, John? Back marking the holes on the former so you can uh, drill the old copper the right size and have to bolt, bolt this cross piece on. <coughs> Very tedious Monday but necessary task. <coughs> Pardon me. Prior to rejoining respective halves of the fuse march, just going around cleaning all the old crap off. Detritus, sorry. Um, make sure the holes are all clean. Rub down, get all the surface gunge off jointing compound, look at this old black crap around here. All the way around, 238 plus holes somewhere around there, back to here. That is my allotted task in life. Well, here we've got the jeep for the rear fuselage. It looks a bit over the top, but this is really what you need to do things because nothing is allowed to move. If anything moves when you come to rebuild it, it could, it could end up twisted or anything like that. Now starting at the front, we have what we call a cruciform, which is up the bulk to this form. This is one of the main strength points for foraging um, and it's designed so if you want to work on this bit here, you can take this one out. If you want to work on the other one, you can take that one out. You can take one out at a time to give you access to all the parts of the airframe. And at the back, we have these two beams here, front and back, which replicate the tailplane. They're bolted in the same position as the tailplane would be bolted in. And yet again, if you want to work on this former here, you can take this beam out, and put this beam back in, and take that beam out and work on the rear former. This jig will also be used for the intermediate rear fuselage, and we think we'll be able to use it for the cockpit section as well. So it will be very cost effective. 